Hello everyone and welcome. This is a technical presentation of the Hambini bottom bracket and we'll cover some of the design features of it and also the performance aspects associated with it. So this is a CAD application called SolidWorks and this is the Hambini bottom bracket in that computer program. You can see the external geometry of the bottom bracket here and it's easy to highlight some of the design features on it. The first and most obvious one is that it is one piece so there is no joint anywhere in the middle. Additionally there are two grooves, one here and one here. When the bottom bracket is pushed into the bike frame, a retaining compound sits in these grooves and gives a better bond so it reduces the chance of creak. If we take a section through this bottom bracket, i.e. cut it in half like this, you can see some of the elements of it. Going from left to right, this is the drive side on this side. Uh, we have a sleeve and the reason for that is the crank axle actually goes in through here and then the aluminium crank axle rubs or is interfaced to the bearing through this sleeve. The sleeve is there almost as a, a sacrificial component. Uh, I found that when you have a metal bearing that's hardened steel onto an aluminium axle it can actually wear it out and I've experienced that so this Delrin piece here acts as an interface. There's the hardened steel bearing in here um, where possible I use NTN and they are all standard bearings off the shelf so you will not be held to ransom by anybody because again this is a component that uh, has a limited lifespan so you would expect to change that. Moving externally, so this is the shell of the bottom bracket, aluminium. The axial restraint is on this surface here. And as we go further over, this is the non-drive side and it's almost symmetrical to the drive side apart from there's no lip because that's the way it gets pushed in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the stiffness of this bottom bracket in um, a finite element analysis program that is also part of SOLIDWORKS so what we'll do is we'll take the bearings and the sleeves away and we'll just be left with the shell so this is it, this is the shell you can see it is just basically a carbon copy of the, the last um, model that you saw in here we have a bearing that would sit here and a bearing that would sit here, I've removed those and now we're going to apply some load to it and see what it looks like. So, this surface, this surface, this surface and this surface are the interface surfaces that you would have between the bike frame and the bottom bracket. Uh, the grey area in between is where any retaining compound would sit. This surface and this surface are two areas where you would have the bearings themselves and I've applied a bearing load which is indicated by these um, purple or pink arrows. Bearing load is 70 kilos on either side, it's actually slightly more so it's 140 kilos in one go. When you've done that uh, you can actually run the program and it produces a result like this. So this is uh, a plot that shows how much deflection or sti the stiffness of the bottom bracket. Red areas are areas of high deflection or displacement and blue areas are areas of very little displacement or deflection. The maximum deflection that this bottom bracket shows is 8.5 microns so that's near enough nine thousandths of a millimeter so it's very very low and to show the relative position of that we can actually just do a section clip. So we've basically taken a cut through the section through the center of the bottom bracket and you can see that the loaded area, the area of the highest displacement is the non-drive side bearing landing which is not entirely unexpected. To put this into some sort of context um, a value of 8 thousandths of a millimetre or nine thousandths of a millimetre is about 10 or 12 times less than uh, the vast majority of bottom brackets on the market. 
basically as soon as you put a joint in the bottom bracket you screw up the stiffness uh, whether you've got a threaded connection in there or not it's uh, it's that's where the stiffness goes so that concludes the technical presentation of the Hambini bottom bracket uh, please check out the other videos for installation methods and deinstallation methods also uh, please check out my website which is hambini.com I hope you found this interesting and until next time